GPT-4 takes what you prompt it with and just runs with it. GPT-4 is incredibly advanced and sophisticated. It can take in and generate up to 25,000 words of text, around eight times more than ChatGPT. It understands images and can express logical ideas about them. For example, it can tell us that if the strings in this image were cut, the balloons would fly away. Hello friends, ChatGPT4 is out. What about 25,000 word limit and image input? Now that's really something. Let's check out all the new features. With ChatGPT4, there is no need to put up with a robotic conversation anymore. It's a pun-stoppable force of nature. Looking at the examples here, they can see that reasoning and conciseness have gotten a considerable upgrade. While the speed is not as fast as previously, it's more suited for complex tasks. While you can actually revert back to the 3.5 model if you want some speed into your conversations. And as it says here, GPT-4 excels at tasks that require advanced reasoning, complex instruction, understanding, and more creativity. So remember those questions from school, like uh, if Jane's sister with uh, Mark and Mark's mother is uh, Jesse, then who's the father of uh, the dog? You know, those kinds of questions. GPT-4 will be much better to handle, while GPT-3.5 didn't do such a great job with that. And even complex math questions will be able to be solved now. This is the place where you just get turbocharged by these AIs. They're not perfect, they make mistakes. And so you really need to make sure that you know the work is being done to your level of expectation. But I think that it is fundamentally about amplifying what every person is able to do. I think this is very important right here. It's about amplifying you as a person is not really replacing you, but is helping you to achieve more than what is humanly possible. Use your creativity and imagination and let the AI help you do that. GPT-4 can teach a huge range of subjects. Imagine giving a fifth grader a personal math tutor with unlimited time and patience. It's a great tool to bring learning to everyone in a way that is personalized to their skill level. I think what they're saying here is just amazing. Like, like I say, imagine having a personal teacher or tutor for, for anything. doesn't matter if it's a child learning in school, if you're in university, or if, if you're in need of assistance at work, or, or you know, elderly people needing any sort of assistance. This will change a lot of people's lives. GPT-4 brings the dream of having the most useful, helpful assistant to life. It's really about adding as much value to everyday life as possible. The development of the transistor, of the computer, of the internet, the semiconductor industry, all the programming languages, everything came together to produce AI technology. And while it is very limited, it is already easy to imagine what the impact of a successor many generations down the line will look like. A successor many generations down the line. Yeah, I think, um, well, you need a science fiction movie to be able to envision that. I think uh, we're going to see some cool improvements in our, uh, in our lifetime, hopefully. It says here that GPT-4 can solve difficult problems with greater accuracy thanks to its broader general knowledge and problem solving abilities. And here's a great example that uh, everyone on YouTube is going to be showing you. And it basically says, explain the plot of Cinderella in a sentence where each word has to begin with the next letter in the alphabet from A to Z without repeating any letters. And as you can see, every letter here, A, B, C, D, E, etc. A beautiful Cinderella dwelling eagerly finally gains happiness in spying jealous kin. You know where this is going. It uses every letter of the English alphabet to create this sentence. So that's kind of a cool thing, to be honest. And something that uh, ChatGPT 3.5 didn't do very good. It could try to perform the task, but the results were, were lacking to say the least. Now with the new feature visual input, you can actually give an input image as well as a text. So in the example here, they have put in some ingredients. There's flour, eggs, uh, I don't know, milk, and um, I don't know, butter maybe. So, and then it says, what can I make with these ingredients? And that is a whole new feature of ChatGPT4. And it's very cool. Imagine just taking a photograph. Well, 
I can't take a photograph like that, but if I have my phone, my old phone, I can do like this. Take a photograph of my refrigerator, open it first, obviously. Okay, I have these ingredients. Please give me some examples of what I can cook for dinner. And that's, to me, kind of, that's mind-blowing. That's going to change my day-to-day -day as I struggle with feeding my kids. And as we saw in the video example in the introduction, here's an input of a balloon, uh, lots of balloons. And the question is, what would happen if the strings were cut? There's no balloon in the text prompt. It analyzes the image and says, okay, the balloons would fly away. It understands that there are balloons and there's a string. And that's, uh, to me, is mind blowing. So that's going to be probably the hugest improvement. A lot of people are talking about, okay, 25,000 words, that's the new, the big thing and the complex tasks and everything. But, um, I, I love the visual stuff. That's my forte. Moving back to the eggs here, you get an output and it says, there are many options what you can make with these ingredients. Some possibilities include pancakes, crepes, French toast, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's kind of cool. And here again, they're talking about the longer context and it's capable of handling over 25,000 words of text. That's also good for, uh, for like a document search or analysis. And the example here, they have a text input from um, a Wikipedia page, Rihanna's Wikipedia page, and then say, describe her Super Bowl performance and what made it special. And the thing with ChatGPT is it's limited to 2021, so it doesn't know about Rihanna's Super Bowl performance, but by giving it input from the Wikipedia page, ChatGPT can now perform that task. And here's an example we briefly discussed earlier, that ChatGPT 4 surpasses a 3.5 in its advanced reasoning capabilities. And here the input is like, you have three people, you have Andrew, Hannah, and Joanne, and they're available for a meeting, but, but they're available at different times. Andrew is free from 11 to 3, Joanne is from noon to 2, etc., etc. And then it needs to figure out at what time they can meet. And uh, previously, ChatGPT did have an issue with those kinds of tasks, but GP4 solves that perfectly. They say here that uh, ChatGPT4 outperforms the older model by scoring in higher approximate percentiles among test takers. So this is basically taking a test. So the bar exam here, ChatGPT was in the 10th percentile, which is uh, like top 90%. And here ChatGPT4 is in the 90th percentile. So in the top 10% scores, so that's a huge, huge improvement. And even here with a biology Olympiad, it's in the top 1%. And here are some tools that are actually already involved or uh, where GPT-4 is implemented. And uh, one thing that isn't mentioned here, it's Bing, because Bing has implemented GPT-4, but Duolingo, which is a tool for learning languages, has it. So that's a, a great use example. I think the coolest example here is Be My Eyes, because Be My Eyes is a tool mainly for blind people and people with visual disabilities. If I remember correctly, you could use it and you can have real people talk to you, look at, at what you're filming and describe what it is that, that you're seeing. But now ChatGPT4 can do that for you. So you can, uh, like the, in the example here, she uses GPT-4 to take an image of this product in the store and GPT-4 can explain to her even though she can't actually see it. So that's, uh, that's amazing. And it's gonna be super important for a lot of people with visual disabilities. We think that GPT-4 will be the world's first experience with a highly capable and advanced AI system. So we really care about this model being useful to everyone, not just the early adopters or people very close to technology. So it is really important to us that as many people as possible participate so that we can learn more about how it can be helpful to everyone. So that was the new ChatGPT-4. Let me know what you think about it and uh, have you tried it already? What have you made it do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video. As always, have a good one.